Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to Cars and Trucks TV. Today we're going to do a little bit of exploring. We are here at the Nellis Dunes, which is just north of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's about a half an hour drive, maybe a little bit less. But this is a fun place where you can get off road, have a good time, and uh, just, you know, do something that's a little bit different. I think when people come to Vegas, they think about the strip and they don't think about anything outside the strip. And there's a lot to do. So we're going to hop in the truck. We're going to point the camera forward and I'm going to take you guys around and kind of show you what this dune has to offer. So let's check it out. Okay, so here we are entering the dunes. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that is Las Vegas in the distance, so we can actually see the full strip. It's really beautiful when you come out here at night. You can actually see everything lit up, and you can see the towers and all sorts of helicopters flying around it. Uh, just below that is Nellis Air Force Base and the runways for Nellis. And so when you're out here, you kind of get a little free air show as well because you see jets and helicopters and Blackhawks, F-35s, all sorts of stuff flying over the dunes. And so while you're out here, you kind of get to enjoy a little air show on top of uh, your off-roading. So uh, it's at a pretty cool location here. Now, if we start turning in, and when you first pull in, by the way, it's hard packed dirt. There's nothing, you know, nothing super sketchy about this area right here. This is pretty much where everybody comes in and parks. There's a couple of small areas that have been carved out by motorcycles and side-by-sides here. You can get in there and have a little bit of fun. I've seen people have, you know, campfires and stuff, and you know, they put uh, all of their uh, trailers in a circle and we'll have a campfire and then they'll head out riding and uh, it's it's a pretty cool area so this is typically where people come just to park and then go into the dunes from here uh, if we take a look over here you'll see the area where you can rent quads and side-by-sides and dune buggies and all the stuff that you would need to have fun they also have guided tours uh, and the guided tours seem pretty cool the only thing is the speeds that they have are, are extremely slow so you end up on these kind of slow guided tours but you can see they have the buggies and everything loaded up right now it seems like they might be taking off now when you start getting into the park here there are trails that lead in just about every single direction i mean you could go anywhere you want and they go for miles i mean you could really make an entire day out of the nellis dunes you could head out to the sand dunes themselves which if i continue to go straight down the hill and just keep going straight i'll run into the sand it's a very nice fine soft sand very easy to get stuck in if you're not prepared uh, or i can take some of these hard packed trails that uh, go all the way through the desert and and i'll go as far as you want to go okay so we're done with that top area we're going to go ahead and drop into uh, this bowl right here it's a fairly easy uh, road to go down there's not all that much to it not too many bumps or anything it's pretty much a smooth cruise and then you can see that we have several different directions that we could go in here now if we go to the right we're gonna end up in the sand if we go straight up and over that hill we will end up on the hard packed trails now it's also kind of easy to get lost back here there's people to get lost all the time um, there are accidents and things so you'll see you know search crews and ambulances over over here every now and then you know every now and then but uh, it's uh, you know it's just one of those things where you have to be prepared when you come out here make sure that you bring everything necessary in order to you know take care of yourself while you're here let's go ahead and go to the right and take a look at what's up here we're gonna go on a slight incline I'm gonna say this is maybe 8% really not all that bad so we're just gonna go ahead and go up this and uh, it's it's like there's a little bit of sand but it's really not that difficult at all as a matter of fact you can more than likely make it up here in two wheel which i'm sure a lot of people do just bring whatever bring whatever they got and put it in the dirt so we're going to go to the top of this little ridge right here so i can show you guys a little bit more and now you can kind of start seeing i don't know if you can see actually out in the distance there 
where it starts to become sand. So we're just gonna continue on this road here. And as you can see, every trail splits off into a different trail. There's, there's never ending trails. I have a feeling you could be out here for an entire week and probably not hit all of the trails that are available to you. So it's pretty cool. Um, here we have some, well, what we call whoop de doos uh, We got some whoop de doos here. Got to get over those. If you have, um, you know, a truck or a car that's a little bit low, lower to the ground, more than likely you're not going to make it over those. So that might be the ending point for uh, uh, lower vehicles right there. So we're going to go ahead and continue up this hill and uh, do a little bit more exploring. Now this is one of my favorite places right here. We just basically continued straight over the hill and this little bowl area leads to pretty much everything else. There, there's so many different places that you can go once you're a little bit further back and you can see some pretty good hill climb stuff up there. You can see some trails that are a little bit more windy and maybe a little bit more challenging. Uh, obviously the truck's not going to make it up you know some of these hills they're pretty steep i mean they almost go straight up it's really difficult to see on camera but some of these trails go straight up and uh, that's a little bit more for those for those motorcycles you know a little bit more prepared for that not a big heavy truck but still plenty of, of places to take the truck and plenty of places to take you know good uh, a good four-wheel drive here, so you guys can see some of the flags there in the distance. Looks like we have a couple people that are having some fun in some of uh, those rental dune buggies. So if you guys wanted to see what the rental dune buggies look like, there you go right there. I'll be totally honest with you, we're about to go somewhere I've never been before. We're going to head up this hill, uh, follow one of these windy roads. It does get pretty soft in terms of the sand up here, so uh, we're going to see if we can make it over. and kind of explore a new area together. But it, it looks pretty cool, feels pretty nice. Truck's going through it just fine. We're in a 2020 Trail Boss. And uh, I don't really see any problems. It's going over perfect. So we're looking good so far. Does get a lot more sandy. Let me pull off to the side here and show you because we're getting pretty close to the sand dunes. Okay, so I decided to hop out of the truck, show you guys what the sand looks like here. It's really soft, soft sand. You can see this is mixed in with a little bit of rocks, but uh, there's some parts that look like the Sahara Desert and then other parts that kind of look like this. You get a little bit of a mixed bag. There's some hard pack. There's a lot of sand and then there's different uh, trails you can take maybe to get around the sand. You can see here some of it's untouched and still rippled from the wind. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. I can hear some motorcycles off there in the distance, but uh, yeah, it's cool. And then you come up here, there's plenty of trails in different directions you can go. And like I said before, there's different things to choose from. You can choose the hard stuff, you can choose the soft sand, uh, you can choose areas like this which have a kind of a mix of both, or you can just go to the Sahara Desert and drive just through sand. It's really neat. Now, as we continue on, I mean, you can really see how vast this place is. It's just as big as your mind could imagine. And having it so close to Vegas, you know, for those people that are really getting away, but, you know, maybe you've just had your fill of gambling. Maybe you just had your fill of the strip and the traffic and all the people and you know you just want to uh, get away from the strip for a day this is a great place to come it's a great place to check out now obviously if you fly in you know that could be a different story you don't have a vehicle and i don't think uber is going to bring you back here but um you know if you did drive out here and you have a vehicle that's capable or you have uh, a way to get over to rent something then i think that this is absolutely a great option to get away while you're in the vegas area and just uh have a little bit of fun do something different i wouldn't recommend it midsummer. that's my own personal opinion when it gets 150 15, 118 degrees out here it changes everything completely but I would say from September to May you should be just fine anytime during that time you should be good to go now as we leave the dunes I just want to thank you all very much for watching if you haven't done so yet please hit that subscribe button there's a bunch of other places that we're gonna explore we're gonna be talking about cars and trucks we're gonna be hitting the racetrack and doing lots of fun stuff so if you guys are interested in things like that again hit that subscribe button and see all my videos that are coming up I do appreciate it again have a great day